Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a tutorial of sorts on checkerboarding when you are diamond painting. I have you guys in pretty close. So I've had a couple questions on my diamond painting videos about why do you checkerboard? What's the purpose? Well, for me, and I think for anybody who does checkerboarding, it is so your drills or diamonds are the neatest that they can be when you are using square diamonds. So I'm going to demonstrate in this area right here. See how this is all the same symbol? Okay. So basically what you do is you apply the diamonds like in a checkerboard pattern. So I'm going to start actually... I got some wax on that. I'm going to start going this way. I think I have too much wax in my pen. There we go. And you just go down in a line. Now, do you see how they are not exactly perfectly straight, especially this one right here? And that one isn't either, but you're going to see something really cool happen. when I get to filling it in. And then you just continue on. Like I'm gonna go up this way. And I realize you're not really, you're seeing my hand more than you're seeing me. But you can see the pattern that I'm putting them. So I always do this when there is a large chunk of symbols. Like I will do it here too. That's black. When I do the black, I will definitely do that there. But you can see how I don't have them perfectly straight, right? Because, well, that one I need to fix with tweezers. But everyone seems like people that start off doing round, using the round diamonds, and then go to square. I've read so much on Facebook boards that they hate the square ones. It's harder to make them straight. I started off with square. I only have one that is a round one and it's a partial and it's pretty small. So that's like a good travel piece, I guess. Um, I just love the square ones. Wow, I'm like really applying these horribly. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just did the checkerboarding up here. Oh, you guys can't see that section, not really. But yeah, this is my stained glass Tinkerbell piece. And I just started it yesterday. I've actually gotten a good little chunk done for only working on it for a short time. And there is one other little tip that I'll, I'll show you at the end that I discovered today. Okay. Well, wait a minute. Let me apply one more over here. You try to make it a perfect checkerboard if you can. Like I'm going to put one there. Okay, that looks pretty perfect. So you see there are other symbols that are the same color. Now all you do is you apply those and you will hear sort of a snapping sound as they fit into place and straighten out. You don't always hear it, but you will on some of these that I have crooked. Because what it does is when you are putting the diamonds in these other spaces, it is pushing the other ones into place. You hear that tiny, tiny little click? Sometimes it's a really big click, but you see them straightening out, right? Now you're really going to hear, you're really probably going to hear it here because that one is really crooked. I 
hard little click there. Now the ones on the edges, I know people use a ruler. I don't. I'm just really, really careful when I apply the ones on the edges. But you can also see when you put the other diamonds in place, you can see them squeezing. Now watch this one because you see how crooked this one is right here, right? Wait a minute, I'm gonna point to it with my tweezers. You see how crooked that one is right there. When I put this one in next to it, it's gonna straighten that one up. See how it straightened it? Yeah, that's the magic of diamond painting, people. Truly. It's like perfectly straight now. I love diamond painting so much. And look, that one's pretty crooked too. So you're going to see the magic happen there. I heard a little snap there. That one straightened that one up because that one was crooked next to that. Yeah, I mean, this is, and I can't take credit for this technique. I've seen this on Ella's channel, Donnie's channel. I've seen this on, you know, Facebook, the groups. I just thought I would do my own video showing you how I do it. I love it. I do it whenever I can. And I will even sort of do it when there aren't a bunch of symbols, just so other s diamonds snap into place. Someone asked me on my sunflower how I got my diamonds so nice and neat. That's how. I rarely go in a straight line across. Okay. They look pretty straight, right? Yeah, that looks really good. Except that one right there. I'm just going to squeeze it over with my finger now. Yeah, so that was it. That is checkerboarding. It is very easy. It's not hard at all, and I filled that in pretty quickly. Okay, so I'm going to back you guys up, and I'm going to show you. Ooh, there's the mail truck. I know I'm getting some China mail today. I wonder if he's going to get out of the truck. <laughs> That's my dog barking. Layla, please stop. I'm going to pause the video for one second. Okay, I apologize if you hear my dog barking because, like I said, the mail truck just left. So, and I saw him put, I do have a canvas in there. Yay. Okay. So, my little trick. Like, when I was doing this last night, like, you see there's, I can get you a little closer. Layla? Shh. It's because the dog next door is barking, and when she hears him barking, she barks, even though she can't even see what she's barking at. Okay, you see how there's like one symbol here of that, there's one symbol up there. When you have that kind of thing, in the past, what I was doing was I would pour diamonds in a tray, do two symbols, then put the diamonds back in, that's ridiculous. And today I discovered something awesome. So I use these. Okay, these are from Amazon. I have them on my Amazon page. The lid unscrews. About three bags of diamonds will fit in here, you know, of the 200 diamonds. So let's just say I have two or three that I see I have to place. Instead of pouring these in a tray, I just, I'm trying to get in the camera, I will just pour some, a few, in here. And some of them lay flat. Can you see it? And I will just dip in there, dot, dot. Okay, let's say I'm done. Then I'm done. I just pour them back in. Oh my God. Because before I filmed this video, I was filling in this area and I had like one color here, one color here. And I thought, Jesus, I'm going to, you know, it's going to take me forever to do that. So no, that little trick saved me. Just passing that along. And that may be an old trick. Somebody else may have already done that. But when I discovered that, I said, oh, my God. So 
that's it for today's video guys i hope this helped with the checkerboarding question as always if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below and i will answer them to the best of my ability thank you for watching and subscribing and i will see you in my next video bye guys